Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we are going to learn about recursion this is another video in the free dss series that we are building for you so that you get placed in your dream company recursion one of the most popular techniques to solve problems in dsa and believe me this is one of the techniques which is specifically asked in interviews even at times recruiters basically say that solve this particular given problem using recursion only there's no other method available at that point of time from the recruiter's side to you so with that sense you can understand the gravity of this particular technique you must understand it thoroughly even if you know recursion you must not miss this video simply so moving ahead and before we deep dive into this topic you must follow these social media handles so that you never miss a hiring update from our side Also, top three comments today. Get prep Insta Prime for free. So go ahead, do the comments, and get your subscription for free. Now, coming to the recursion portion. Recursion is a programming technique in which a function calls itself in order to solve a problem. This process typically breaks down a complex problem into smaller, manageable problems. Now, what is about all about? I'll explain you what is it all about. The point is that whenever we try to solve a bigger problem in real life we try and break it into smaller portions of manageable problems we try and break it down it into smaller pieces of codes if we are trying to solve a coding problem the reason is because at times a lengthy problem is difficult to solve but to break it down into pieces and then get back the outputs and then put it put them into the place to get a result is quite easy i'll explain you using a very simple example consider that you have one candy and you know that you can build uh, you're trying to build a tower of candies so you know that if you put one candy it is a tower of one candy your mother told you then your mother told you that if you want to build a tower of two candies all you need to do is add one candy above this right and then you will have two candies then if you are trying to build a tower of three candies your mother told you that in tower of two candies you need to add one candy and then you will be having tower of three candies now she gave you a problem that build a tower of five candies so basically you know that tower of five to build a tower of five candies you need to add one candy to the tower of four candies right you started dividing this problem you know now in the tower of four candies if you have add one candy then the tower of five candies can be made right then you further broke it down you said if i add to make this particular portion to make these tower of four candies what you need to do is you need to add one candy to the tower of three candies right this particular portion it can be built like this right now if you want to build a tower of three candies then what you need to do is you need to add one candy to the tower of two candies and you know to build a tower of two candies you need to add one candy to a tower of one candy right so basically when you add this one candy here you get this as result then you add one candy to this you get this as result you add one candy to this you get this tower of four candies as a result and you add one more candy and you get tower of five candies as a result so basically the process that you broke this problem down into multiple portions and then you came back getting outputs from every step this is called recursion okay we'll understand with a technical example as well look this is a technical example an absolute coding problem now in this particular problem hum kya karne ki koshish kar rahe hain we are trying to compute a factorial of a number right now to compute this factorial what we need to do we need to first of all give some input here so that there is a number whose factorial we want to calculate consider that we want to calculate the factorial of 5 okay so how to calculate it using this this code this code piece says that if we put 5 as an input in this particular function so first of all it will check using if statement 
that is the n which is basically 5 here is it greater than 1 it is greater than 1 so this statement will be executed had it been 1 it would have simply returned 1 as the answer okay so what it will do is consider that i am denoting this factorial function by f okay now consider that we want to find f of 5 so basically i'll execute this particular statement to execute this particular statement i'll write 5 which is basically n into factorial of n minus 1 basically which which is 5 into f of 4 right so to answer this f of 4 what we need is we need to calculate this f of 4 which is basically 4 into f of 3 using this only right similarly this f of 3 is nothing but 3 into f of 2 similarly this f of 2 is nothing but 2 into f of 1 and we know that f of 1 is basically nothing but 1 because 1 is not greater than 1 so this will automatically return 1 so here the answer that comes out to be is 2 into 1 right which is basically 2 so this 2 is substituted here this is basically equal to 2 so we push this 2 as the result in this step so this becomes basically 3 into 2 which is equals to 6 so here 6 is the result now i push 6 back here as the result now 4 into 6 is nothing but 24 now the 24 that i got as result is pushed here you get 24 as the result here right of this statement now when i push 24 here then 5 into 24 is nothing but 120 which is the factorial of 5 you get the answer so basically what you did was you in every step divided this problem first then you pushed the whole result back in you pushed the result of every step backwards right and then you reached the pinnacle and you got your answer 120 is it clear to you it's very simple i'll again explain it first of all you executed f of 5 which is nothing but this piece of code why so because 5 is greater than 1 so you executed this you got to know that this statement would execute 5 into factorial of n minus 1 which is 4 then to find out this f of 4 you again did the same step 4 is again greater than 1 4 into f of 3 which is nothing but n minus 1 here n was 4 so n minus 1 3 similar step repeats here 3 into f of 2 similar step repeats here 2 into f of 1 we start so basically this f of 1 is nothing but 1 why so when we push 1 as input here 1 is not greater than 1 it is not true so basically 1 greater than 1 this is not true so basically it will go to this else portion and execute this then 1 is the result for f of 1 2 into 1 2 you push that result back 3 into 2 6 you push that result back 4 into 6 is equal to 24 i'll write it out here 6 okay so you push that result back 4 into 6 24 you push 24 back 5 into 24 120 am i clear this is the first portion of recursion recursion is much more deep i'll explain you a lot about advanced concepts of recursion in the upcoming videos so you first of all get your concepts right here understand what the whole problem of recursion is about once you get the basics clear then in the upcoming videos you learn how the advanced concepts of recursion function okay so that's all about recursion for today and before you go you must follow these channels because they give you a hiring update they give you update about various lives which are super useful for you so you shouldn't miss on this and top three comments today get prep insta prime for free as i told you so you should also comment and you should not miss a chance to get a prep insta prime subscription for free that's all from my side thank you keep doing good good will come back to you